Hello everyone. In previous video, I showed you how to configure Azure on-prem data gateway to access your on-prem SQL database. Uh, in this video, what I want to show you is uh, how you can uh, provision a SQL connector using ARM template to access the data gateway and then you can use that connector in all of your logic apps and other resources that want to access your uh, on-prem SQL database. So uh, if you want to have uh, complete details of configuring uh, on-prem data gateway in Azure, please watch my uh, uh, previous video. It's about configuration and, and with all details that you need. Uh, but if you are after um, provisioning the connector only, you can watch this one. Just quickly to recap, uh, I've got an on-prem data gateway ag agent up and running on my local machine, as you can see on the screen. I've got a test database in the same machine again. And in the test database, I've got a person table with two dummy records in it. Yeah. And on the Azure portal side, I've got a data gateway here. It's configured and ready to use. Its name is Demo Data Gateway, and uh, it's communicating with the on-prem data gateway uh, to pull data. But if we want to use the data gateway and access uh, local database, we need a connector here to use data gateway and then pull data from uh, local database. So if I uh, go to this photo, we saw this screen in the previous video. When you want to create a connector using Azure portal, uh, you need to enter this uh, data in these fields. You need a authentication type, SQL server name, database name, username, password, gateway, and connection gateway. Uh, by entering these values in the dialog box, uh, you can create that connection using Azure portal. But uh, the question is how we can do this through ARM template if you want to automate your uh, provisioning process. Uh, that's what we want to do in this video. I've got an empty ARM template project. Again, if you want to know how to create an ARM template project in Visual Studio, uh, watch my uh, uh, video for creating a ARM template project. Uh, but uh, to save some time, I've created a empty project here on template project and added a bunch of variables that we need uh, to the variable section. Uh, we need SQL Server connector name. It's just a name. You can put any value that you like. The SQL Server is the name of the server that your SQL database is hosted on that. If you look at the SSMS it's here on top, desktop ggv t6 tv. And the database is test. So database name. You need a username and password. And as I discussed in the previous video, you can use uh, existing user here. Uh, but if you want to use um, this ARM template in a production environment, you need to create a service account in Azure AD and use that service account. But for this demo purpose, I just use uh, uh, Windows login that I'm currently logged into my Windows. And you put your password here. Again, for demo purpose, I put my password here as a clear text. Uh, but if you want to uh, 
uh, use this ARM template in production, again, you need to uh, create a variable in your CI CD pipeline and put the uh, password value there and uh, secure your password this way. Okay, let's create the resource that we need here. Like any other resources in ARM template, it has a name or name. I want to use SQL Server Connector name. Just drag it from here. Name of the connector. Second thing is type. Its type is Microsoft dot web slash connections. API version. Yeah, that's the correct one. Location. I want to inherit the resource group location, so I just put this code here. Resource group and dot location. This resource group function is grabbing all resource group properties and then I'm using the location of that resource group. So this way. Uh, your connector location is inherited from resource group. It's not a uh, hard-coded value. The properties. Okay, the properties section is the most important section because every ARM template has name, type, API version, location. But in different resources, we have different properties types. So if you are creating virtual machine, got different properties. If you are creating a connector, has different properties. And for SQL connector, let's start with the display name. Give it a display name. Want to put a name here? Let's say SQL connector. And the API to ID and in the ID section, uh, we use concat function it's for concatenation of different uh, string the first part with subscription slash and then we concatenate this we need subscription id here for getting that dynamically we use the subscription function and dot subscription id and then concat it with providers slash microsoft dot web slash locations 
slash and we need resource group location here again so just copy and paste this resource group location and the end slash managed APIs slash SQL. Right. This one is okay. And next part is parameter values. Parameter values. We have server and server. We use the variable that we created earlier. For the SQL server. database Let's just copy and paste put it in the clipboard so we can reuse it for the database use database variable in the Next parameter is about both type, which is your authentication type, and it should be Windows. Username is the next one. Our SQL username and password is the SQL password. Last item that we need to put here is the gateway. Because this connector is using a data gateway, we need to set a gateway parameter here. I have to spend a bit of time and have a play with this to find out what parameters and what values should be set didn't find any straightforward documentation around that so hopefully it can save some time for some of you guys again i use the concat function and i'm going to use subscription so i don't need Slash subscription, 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 is a slash, and missed S here as well. Subscriptions, and then use the subscription ID, and then slash resource group I need to put the data gateway resource group name so 
if our data gateway is in the same resource group that we are provisioning the SQL connector, we can use resource group dot location because it's in the same resource group. But it's not a big deal if there is a different resource group. You can just uh, put that resource group name in a variable in a variable section and concat it with the resource groups here. And then paste of that it's slash providers Microsoft the uh, Microsoft.web slash connection gateways and then we need data gateway name so variables and Need to create a new variable. Data gateway. Name. And just copy and paste our data gateway name from here. Use it. Already nearly done. That's everything that we need to set here. It looks good. My password. Okay, now it's ready to deploy. I right click on the project, deploy, select resource group that I want to deploy to, and click on deploy. It starts deploying a SQL connector to test RG resource group in my Azure subscription. Once deployment is done, you can go to Azure and check Okay, as you can see in the output window, we've got an error here. The gateway is not found in this URL so we need to find out what the issue is as you can see after resource group I'm putting the resource group location instead of lo resource group name which is wrong we need to change this and set the proper thing so instead of resource group location probably we create the variables here Say data gateway resource group and declare this variable in variable section and give it a name. Test RG is the resource group that our data gateway is installed in. Let's try again. Okay, the template is valid. So in terms of a schema and a structure, our template is valid. The deployments are started. 
here you go successfully deployed let's go to Azure portal in test resource group and refresh here sometimes takes a bit of time for the resource to be visible here yeah now we've got connector dash sql db and this connector can be used in logic apps or other resources to access the on-prem database so just quickly to use this connector i want to add a logic app Logic app and review and create. Create that logic app. It goes to resource and click on blank logic app. For logic app to review, we just the request trigger when HTTP request received and a new step because we want to pull data from a SQL server database we choose SQL server action and get rows here in the connection section if you click on change connection but that's the only connection that's the only available connection by default it's set here and that's the connector that we created using the arm template so you don't need to enter this data anymore you just use the connector here and select some data from person table and let's say give me top two records and save that and click on run we should see that two records two dummy records that i've created earlier in database the results section yeah, we've got id1 adam smith and id2 andrew barrett we go to the resource group test rg test resource group now we have a connector here and it can be used in all logic apps to access your on-prem database hopefully this video helps you to uh, save some time when you want to provision your uh, azure resources and thanks again for watching this video